So the Bernese method is basically um, micro-induction of buprenorphine, and I have not started doing this in the facility that I work in. So what it is is that we've realized patients must go into opioid withdrawal before they can start onto buprenorphine. Otherwise, they'll go into precipitated withdrawal. So um, in order to, uh, to start buprenorphine, they have to stop taking all of their opioids. So they have to go for a period of anywhere from 8 to 24 hours with no opioids before they can take buprenorphine. And some patients don't tolerate that at all. Uh, going into opioid withdrawal is very uncomfortable for patients. So also it's not even possible all the time if the patient is in the ICU when they're intubated, they could pull out their breathing tube. And so it's not always feasible for us to uh, let the patient get into that state, right? They get um, very agitated. So what we found we can do is instead of stopping all the opioids, like turning off the opioid infusion um, in order to let them go into withdrawal, we found that we can keep that uh, infusion going, and we can start introducing micro doses of buprenorphine, very tiny doses, like um, 0.2 of a milligram of buprenorphine. And uh, there's a protocol where you can just keep increasing it every day while you still have the opioid agonist at the full rates. And then on like day seven or nine, uh, you're in, you've increased your buprenorphine to a therapeutic, more therapeutic dose, and you can stop the opioid agonist. And so the patient is now back on buprenorphine and they didn't have to go through withdrawal. So we haven't started it where I work yet just because we don't have on formulary the uh, micro doses of buprenorphine, uh, but I know some places are doing it and it's really great.